about experiences that you had when you lived in Mexico when you were a kid? When I was in Mexico, wow. I can't remember. You know what? It's kind of funny you telling me that because I remember doing my first step with my mom and dad. I even told my dad and mom one time, uh -huh. a couple of times, that I, I was working. They were showing me how to walk in my first step. It was going to you're remembering that I know? Uh, yeah, no, I remember, I've been remembered that since, ever since that I can remember. I even told them the color of the little bandecito that they used to have. Uh -huh. They gave me with uh, animal cookies inside. Aww. And they were telling, my mom was telling me, what are you, dad? Because I was learning how to walk, but I was going step by step. How old were you? And you remember that? I remember that. I do remember a lot of things. That's crazy. It is. You can always ask my dad. And I can go. I just tell him all this stuff. One thing that I noticed ever since I was a kid is that I have seen so much weird stuff. Sometimes I want to see things that the other kids wouldn't, wouldn't see it. Sometimes they used to make this way, he's wearing this, and then we're looking at the place where I thought that it was, and it wasn't. Mm. I would have seen people, there was one time that we went fishing with my dad, and said, so well, we were going to cross this little river, and I saw a tree, and I saw a guy hanging in there, mm. I mean, they hang him, and I was afraid, and I told my dad, I don't want to go through there, because he's right there, and my dad. It's like, no, there's nothing there, there's nothing, there's nothing. And I start crying, panicking, so he, he used to, he, instead of going straight, we went around further down. Mm -hmm. About that time, my dad was thinking, like, what's going on with my son? You're going cuckoo. Yeah. 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 After that, I have seen so many things in life. We moved to a house, this house, when I went inside. I felt like was something wrong. Mm. And I thought we went to live with my grandma in Guadalajara. And I told my grandma, Grandma, there's something bad here. And she used to tell me, Yeah, I know. But it's okay, don't worry. And I was so close to her because I knew this thing was happening. And I know she, she could protect me somehow. Mm. So I started seeing shadows, guys with hats, I mean, even babies with a demon face. I saw like nuns walking down the aisle. My grandma saw that too. And we, I told my dad about that day. He's like, no, oh, there's nothing bad here. It's your imagination and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So my dad, one day I thought, look, no, they're watching us. The guy is over there. He said, there's nothing, so he sat down and he goes, see, if you guys are going to scare my son, I want you to scare me. Don't go with them, he's not a baby. Um, Once he said that, he, it's like they pushed him back, all the way down to the bed. He went flying. Not flying, but he was down. They pushed him, they pushed him. They pushed him all the way down, my dad said he couldn't move. And they said something, whispering. Mm. And then boom, it went away. My dad got up, and then that's when he started realizing. When well, he believed it. Yeah. It my always mom, happens like that. <laughs> my mom went to take a shower, and we heard a yelling from my mom. So we went towards, it was like, that's a problem, but five yards away from where the room was. And uh, she came up almost butt naked. <laughs> yeah, with the doll and everything. Just somebody hit me inside there, so my dad went inside there and he was nobody. But my mom had like the palm of the hand. You know, the the print. print. No. Oh, yeah. Right there, that place, he was nothing but evil. I mean, it was really, really bad. In the middle of the night, you could hear. Back in those days, 
place I remember, it, I was imagining like it was like a chisel and then a hammer. And they used to go on one corner and they hit it, boom. Mm. And then they used to go to the other side, boom. Now for, what is it? Oh, now for corners. Corners. They probably did witchcraft in that place. crazy because that's around the time that I started seeing stuff like the first time I seen the lady it was around six or seven but on mucho antes bueno diría como like a year before that I would I mean it sounds weird but I would play with the spirit I just didn't know it was a spirit like back then it wasn't until the lady that I was like wait this is not normal and it was because of their feet. Like that's what, that's how I noticed that it like it wasn't a living person. Porque no le mire. I wouldn't. Her feet. I seen her feet, but they were just not touching the ground. And whenever I've seen spirits that are like spirits that were living spirits, they never touch the ground. I've always noticed that they, they don't touch the ground. It's weird. I wonder what that like what that's about because yeah, cuando se me han aparecido y cosas así, I've never seen if, feet on the ground. Never. If we're talking about like other spirits, like other type of spirits, like demons and stuff like that, it's even them. I don't think I've ever seen them like the shadow is, you could see the shadows by like the walls and stuff, but it's never like when they're standing. Yeah, that's true. See what I'm Because of the ground? I don't know, it has something to do with Yeah, it has something to do with that because I've never seen a, like a spirit that was a living spirit. I've never seen it like touching the ground, their feet. But Sierra, it was around that time that I started seeing things like that, and you're saying that you're around that same age. Oh, yeah. It was weird. And what other, what other experiences? Yeah, they grande. Did you experience anything else? I try to block that thing the whole day, but still, they still come like once in a while. Mm. Like it's been a couple of times. Like, not right here. It's just like I call her. Hey. How do you know? I don't know. I can see and I can smell. Mm. Oh, you're crazy. Pinche <laughs> brujo. <laughs> and the other day she was doing. No, she went to. Um, to Vallejo. Uh -huh. For the burial of his brother. Mm. And she left. And now but suddenly I just. I got a color. But when I, when I was going to call her. I saw chicken. And I told her, hey, is the chicken okay? Yeah, huh? Both of them, Mimi and her. What are you talking about? You guys see the chicken, no? Huh? Yeah, but how do you know? I don't know. I just seen it. Yeah. I just smell it. <laughs> yeah. This is tripped out of that. So that's the other thing was when, uh, remember you guys just live on the something easy. 
So I went in there and uh, I started praying. I went to the rooms and I started seeing whatever I could you know, say. And I was taking pictures. So when I got to her room where the dog was barking from the outside to the inside, and I started taking pictures. And I don't look at that moment. I always wait till I get home when I relax and stuff. Look at the pictures and stuff. Or, yeah. Oh, it's the day that they lost you, huh? No, that you couldn't they find lost your me. way? I couldn't find my way out to home. So I said, you know what? I better call my sister Cecilia. And I, I remember I used to call her and the phone, I mean, that the call just dropped. Yeah. And then it sounded busy. So I called again and I knew it was something wrong because I could feel, I could feel somebody outside. Yeah. And, like watching you and. And yeah. I was, instead of me getting stronger, Nothing. Like nothing. Yeah. I went back home. I said, you know what, sister, I'm home. So thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. I'll pray for you. Thank you. So I went inside the room. It was late. I went inside the house. Then I went to my room. And I couldn't even turn the lights off. I was so afraid. Yeah. I kind of know what to do. So the whole day I left the lights off. It takes days, right, to shake that off, like oh, whenever yeah. you experience something like that. Yeah. And I remember she used to tell me, before you do something like that, you got to prepare yourself. Yeah. Because if you don't, things can go wrong. Sideways real quick, yeah. <clears throat> and I think maybe it had something to do because you confronted it. Probably. Like when, when you do that, like 
my aunt told you, if you're not prepared, like that's not the way to go about it because you just anger them. And wherever they're, whether they're bound or tied to that house, like they will follow you. And that's probably what and happened you know to you that day. what's funny because at the end of the day, I went and looked at the pictures because that night I didn't even want to look at it. I knew it was something wrong. Yeah. And when I was in the room, and when, because I asked whoever wasn't there, what's your name? Tell me your name. And I didn't hear anything. But when I look at the pictures, I still remember he was O R E. And I sent that picture over to God. Mm -hmm. I said, look, this is the name of the person who was there. And I sent him a picture. And it was like little piece, a red piece, mm -hmm. forming those letters. And it was on top of a. So, and I showed to his local. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure she still have that. The picture? The picture. I'm gonna ask her. Yeah, she probably still have it. Yeah. Yeah, but I remember that time. I remember you told me about it and how you kept calling my aunt and the call just kept dropping. It was weird. I mean, I was so scared. I guess I knew. I yeah. knew they were out there around my car. You think it was one or there was multiple? Yeah, it was more. Yeah, that's crazy. Any other experiences? Oh, babe, I've got so many. We can be here all night long. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll leave it for the next time. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. And we will see each other soon. Say bye, Papa. Bye. Say bye, Anthony. Bye.